Most Hated Award for Most Hated Game of the Year. The nominees are Back for Blood. Battlefield 2042 Milan Wonderworld Life is strange Do we have to fight it True colors Why wouldn't we Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Hey, CJ! Baby, what's up, man? What's happening, Smoke? Chilling? Want to go for a ride? Yeah! And the winner is... Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. All they had to do was remaster the damn game, CJ! Yet Take-Two and Rockstar just didn't want to. It has become a horrifying trend as of late for these big companies to take their perfectly fine games of yesteryear and fuck them up in completely new ways. A lazy remaster for some easy dosh is nothing new, but Take-Two managed to push things a step further by not only desecrating three beloved classics, but then removing the original unmolested versions from sale. Most hateable of all is the pure negligence given to their own cash cow. They'll point the spotlight at the latest GTA or Red Dead Redemption, boast about new features and horseballs, and then happily fork over handling of their revered classics to mobile devs. And god damn does it show. Rockstar is well known for having sold enough shark cards to buy their own country, but where did that money go? Certainly not here and certainly not to any of the mod teams that have lovingly preserved their games for literal decades. Instead of working directly with the people who knew it best, Take-Two farmed out the work to a dev team smaller than a kindergarten class. And they missed a memo from IBM in 1979 that said a fancy AI should never make management decisions. Weeks after that train wreck of a launch, they even flinched and handed out the original San Andreas for free, provided you just please. Please, download their proprietary launcher. Ah, remember friends, buy physical, hold on to your games, and never sell.